Now, because I'm always tinkering with stuff, I can't help it. So, the one thing I already showed you was I unpicked the seam on that, on the foot end of the storm shield. So it's open on the foot end, wide open like this is. And all the storm shields have a drawstring in both ends, so that's already there. So if you already have one of these, and you want to open up the foot end, like maybe you want a little more ventilation, just conditions or what, I've, I've been fine just as is, but I'm just toying around. Anyway, so you can, I'm, I'm, I've got a video I've started that shows just how to do that. Very easy. Now, here's a second little deal I'm working with. And you may have seen, I've put some pictures, I don't know if that I've made a video, but I've posted some pictures on Facebook, Instagram, of some different spreader apparatus for the storm shield. So let me show you what I've got here. Let me just dump that down in there. So what I've got here is, I've got two pieces of Eastern Aluminum tubing with a 90 degree elbow all shock corded together so it's self-assembling like that. So look what that does. That spreads the top of this. I haven't even done, I haven't even used this yet. I've put it together. I've hung it in some trees by my house but I've not used it in a laying in the hammock and all that sort of thing yet. So we're going to do that today. Okay? This is the same thing I've tried a couple times, but this is the easiest way to do it, and it requires the least number of parts and all that kind of mess. Okay? So, let's see. I don't know if I can show you how to put this in very well out here. I don't know if the lighting will be good enough. Okay, so we want the curve of that 90 degree elbow thing. You want that just resting right on top there like that, okay? So now you see what that does? That has now spread this to give you just a little more shoulder room or whatever in there. Now it's by no means whatsoever essential, but I'm just seeing if it's worth doing. Just playing around, so I'm just showing you. It's something that may happen. So now you see we can still, like I could just leave it like that. If it starts raining in the night, I can just grab it, pull it over me. Now, and I've never, so this, you're gonna experience this the same as me, first time right now. I really should not have my boots on doing all this. This is nice because I can just even have it part way up like this or down there farther or whatever. Okay, so again, it starts raining. I need to pull it over me. There we go. And I can also draw up my draw cord here like this, see that? So now when I draw that open, it still keeps this big opening right here for airflow to be able to go through, okay? So whenever I want to get out, I just unhook my carabiner. And you could use a smaller carabiner if you wanted to. Okay. So I wasn't bad for a first time demo right there. First time for me and first time for you all at once. So now when you look at this, see, look how much opening I have here for airflow to circulate and all that sort of thing. All right, so now what I've done also <laughs> is I've, done, I've set this up so I can do the same thing on the foot end as well. So I can have through draft all the way. So I've installed the one down on the foot end. I've got this one here on the head end. Get in here and do this. 
All right, it started to rain. It's in the middle of the night. I can't deal with it. I'm gonna have to pull this over me. So, let's come up here. And I hook in. I can see open air on the far end, as well as I have open air here. But I can feel air blowing through this from the foot end up past my head and out the head end. Those things are actually doing what I wanted them to do. So that's a big plus. Okay, so the method I'm going to show you here of how to install the tubing is I'm going to use the put together method. So everything's all assembled. There is another way you can do it where they're like this basically. And that's a little harder for me to show you, but either way works. But this way is pretty simple. All right, so what I want to do is I want to take the tip here and I want to insert that in right where that drawstring cord goes into the cord sleeve. And I want to just shove it across there. As you can see, I'm just shoving it in there and I just want to keep shoving it in there until I get almost all the way in. And then as I get to this point, what I want to do is take the other end and shove it in where the other draw cord goes in. And then I'll just keep <clears throat> working this around. Now, if you don't, if you don't bunch this fabric up too much, it will feed pretty easily. If you kind of get it bunched up tightly, it'll kind of grab on the tubing a little, and it'll be a little harder to get it on there. But that's it, right there. All right, now when you want to take this thing out of here, the easiest thing to do, flip your, flip your D-rings back out of the way. And what you want to do is gather just a little bit of fabric here, then pull, and that will disconnect this one side here. And just kind of pull down just a little bit till it comes so the end comes out of there. Once the end comes out a little bit, the easiest thing is if you can just kind of let it do its own thing to some extent, and then just hold it up here, and then hold it on the other end, and just start pulling it. And the less you grab it and fuss with it, the easier it will just practically fall out of there. And now you're ready and it stores in its little mesh bag like that.